Behind me are some of the original brick piers supporting High Bridge, the railroad bridge over the Appomattox River, uh, constructed in the early 1850s for the use of the South Side Railroad. When this bridge was constructed, it was considered to be the largest bridge in the entire world, measuring nearly two and a half thousand feet across, and at its highest point, 125 feet above the River Valley. Now, on the morning of April 6th of 1865, there will be a battle fought for control of this bridge. A small force of roughly 1,000 Federals, infantry, and cavalry are sent to burn this bridge in case the Confederates wish to use it to cross the river. Uh, that force will be tracked down and obliterated by Confederate cavalry. Almost the entire force is captured, and in the meantime, you have a fierce hand-to-hand -hand fight, one of the fiercest of the entire war for Union and Confederate cavalry. Cavalry soldiers, one of the last Confederate generals killed during the war, James Deering, will be mortally wounded here, and he will die nearly two weeks later. As a result of that battle, all of the Confederate cavalry are pulled away from what becomes the Battle of Sailor's Creek that afternoon, just a few miles behind me. The next morning, on April 7th of 1865, Robert E. Lee will order his army to cross the Appomattox River, and for the forces escaping that battle at Sailor's Creek, they will have to cross above me along this high bridge, mostly in the dark. Uh, the Federal troops following them are trying to prevent the Confederates now from burning the bridge. There's also a small wagon bridge just to my right, crossing the stream. Confederates are trying to burn that as well and the Federals will be able to put it out just in the nick of time. So now Robert E. Lee's hope of using this Appomattox River as a barrier will come to naught. The Federals will be able to cross in force and be on the same side of the river as Lee.